Hi everyone, my name is Ellie and thank you so much for checking out this YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a soul that is awakening in this incarnation and I am here on a mission of remembering myself and reconnecting to myself by healing all of the wounds that have kept my heart closed, that have kept me blocked. And I'm here to share a little bit of um, the journey of how I got to where I am right now and where I am headed, okay? And if you're watching this video, I'm sure you are a fellow soul, a fellow comrade in the battlefield between dark and light um, in this incarnation. And many of us came here to awaken, many of us came here to hold down the light frequency as earth shifts from the old earth into the new earth and that is not by any means a passive or simple process um you got to do the work and i'm really here to share a lot of what i've experienced what i've gone through and how i got to where i am right now so let's dive into it uh, I have always been a supremely, supremely sensitive and emotional child. As far as I can remember, I always knew. And I don't mean this in an egoic way, like, I'm special. Like, no. Like, I always fucking knew, okay, that I was different than other people. And I hated it. I hated how deeply I could feel. I hated that um, I could tell that I just wasn't like other kids, you know, how sensitive I was, how emotional I was, how in tune I was. I was like always observing people and like always feeling a lot of things and not understanding why I was the way that I was. And, you know, we don't, we're not born into an enlightened society where our parents are enlightened guides and our first teachers, right? And they have all their wounds and all of their shit and then it gets passed on to us and thus creates generational trauma. Fun, not fun. And um, so being a really emotional and sensitive child, um, and as now I know as an adult, I'm a highly sensitive person and we only make up 20% of the population. And you know, when you don't live in a world that um, really nurtures a highly sensitive person, a lot of us come out and we're labeled as having mental illness, right? We cycle in a lot of depressions, manic, bipolar, ADHD, whatever the fuck it is, right? Um, I was slapped with all kinds of labels growing up, like I had depression, I had anxiety, like all of these things. And um, when I was 16, I started having a lot of debilitating panic attacks and they didn't know what to do with me. So I went on my first antidepressant when I was 16 years old, like I'm a child, okay? And when I started really um, taking those, I knew that it wasn't right, but I had no other choice. I was just so um, fragile. You know, I was constantly breaking down. I was constantly going into like really dark places and I just didn't know what to do and nobody around me knew what to do. So I just got pilled up and I spent my entire twenties just constantly going up and down, up and down, up and down. I would constantly feel like something was wrong with me and not knowing how to navigate that, not knowing what to do, how to be none of it. Right. And when I was 32 years old, uh, I finally hit the rock bottom with the rock bottoms. And like, obviously, like, listen, if there's any place that I've traveled to the most, it's rock bottom, okay? But this one was different. I was, I had moved to a new state, a new city for a new job and every single thing in my life was falling apart. Everything was breaking. And I heard the calling to start doing inner work on myself. And when I started doing inner child work, it was the first realization, the first awakening to me. And I realized I had supremely low self-worth. I hated myself. And I knew that I had to go on a journey of what it really meant to start loving and rediscovering the real me. The beautiful thing about going on the journey inward is that it is a spiritual journey. And so when I started going inward and I started really taking steps to learn what it means to love myself, I started seeing angel numbers everywhere, 1111. Like I, ne I didn't know anything about angel numbers. And it's not like I grew up with all these people that were spiritual, I grew up very religious. And so for me, I didn't have anyone to talk to. So one day I really thought that I was losing my mind. And so I Googled it and I Googled, why do I keep seeing 1111 everywhere? And the Google results said angel numbers. And I went, what? And thus began my journey into spirituality. And, you know, I was really gullible and I was really naive and I was really um, just needing anything and everything. And so I just dove in head straight first and I was listening to all kinds of teachers. I was following all kinds of spiritual influencers. I was reading books. I was listening to podcasts. I was really um, diving into everything they had. Um, to help me heal myself and so for three years i diligently 
was journaling, I was, you know, doing breath work, I was doing cold showers, I was, so I was journaling my ass off every day, I was meditating twice a day, I was taking cold showers, I was EFT tapping, I was self-affirming myself, I was reprogramming my subconscious mind, I tried plant medicine, I went to a woman's retreat, I did everything and anything that I could to heal myself. And around three years in, I knew that I wasn't getting to the nitty gritty and I wasn't really truly doing the deep transformational work because I still hated myself. I was still showing up super codependent relationships. I still had all this like resentment and anger inside of me towards like certain family members. And I still was people pleasing. Like I was doing all of these things. So I knew that what I was doing wasn't getting to like the root and really transforming it. And so I just started speaking to the universe and to my higher self. And I said, who and whatever is for my highest good for me to really learn how to heal in this life, please guide me. I am open. And a few months later, I was losing my mind and I was crying a lot. And I got into my car and I was driving with my dog into the mountains. And I typed into the podcast search bar, losing my mind, like my mind's crazy. And this one podcast episode popped up and it was with one of my favorite, you know, podcast people and it was called Mental Programming. And I was like, I don't know what that is. I'll just listen to it. And the moment I listened to the woman that was speaking, that was a guest on the podcast, her, she's now my teacher and my mentor, Rachel Fiore, my soul literally sang. It was crazy. And one thing about me. I may not always listen to my soul because I haven't been aware of like when my soul is like really guiding me. I'm learning now more and more. But like I know when my soul is screaming. I know when my soul is shouting. And this was one of those moments. It was undeniable. Everything that she said made so much sense to me. And I had gone through years and years of being really like being duped and being tricked and being manipulated. So I had been learning a lot about discernment and really feeling into the vibrations of when people speak, of how they are. And when I heard her speak, I knew, I was like, whatever she has, I need it. And I jumped into a six month program uh, to be certified in the work that I was listening to her, uh, to her, to listening to on the podcast. And when I decided to really embark on this chapter, I thought I'd learn a few things. my life exploded in the most beautiful, beautiful ways. And I started the real, real, real shadow work. I am two years doing this work and coaching this work now, and it constantly surprises me. It constantly challenges me. It constantly brings me back to myself. And the crux of what we teach at Masters of Self University and what Rachel Fiore is here to teach as a spiritual mystical teacher is how to become oneness consciousness, how to become an enlightened being. And this is not a drink water and meditate all day. This is a put in the work to heal the aspects of you that keep you in separation, that keep you in hate that keep you in judgment, that keep you small and powerless and weak. Because of what she was teaching me was so revolutionary. <laughs> and it was like the first tangible thing that I felt like I could grasp and I could learn and I could become. And the crux of what we teach at Masters of Self University and what Rachel's teachings are, are basically, let's first connect you back to your heart. Let's first connect you back to your innate divine power. Let's learn how to open your heart. And I didn't even know I was walking around my entire life as a close hearted being because nothing was safe. Nobody was safe. I couldn't trust shit. And so since I was little, I just learned how to close. And no wonder as sensitive and as emotional I, as I am, you know, I suffered so much in my entire life. That's why they put me on antidepressants when I was 16 because I couldn't, I wasn't processing my emotions. I was just suppressing everything. I was repressing everything. And so connect back to your innate divine power. Then we start to identify the programs that each of us run, okay? So we start from the trigger. We go into what are the mental programs you run when you're triggered? What are the emotional programs you feel when you're triggered? What are the behavioral programs that get activated when you're triggered into all of these other programs? And then what's the inner child wound? And then how do we energetically transform it all? Profound. 
and it takes willingness and devotion. This isn't a half-ass, like I'm gonna dip my toe in and then I'm not gonna dip my toe in for the next five days. This is an everyday thing. This is a how much do you love yourself to show up for yourself when your pain comes up to the surface. And most of us, most of us are emotionally fragile because we literally live in a society that keeps you in fear, that controls you, that keeps you numb, dumb, and weak and powerless. Let's just be honest. Let's just say it for what it is, okay? I've been in victim consciousness my entire life. I'm a victim. And now with this work, I alchemize the victim consciousness because that's not the truth of who I am. The truth of who you are is not afraid, it's not weak, it's not powerless, it's not panic, it's not, it's not any of those things. They're just energies that live within your field that were created at a very specific time. So we need to go into that first time that it was created, that aspect of your wounded inner child that's showing up on autopilot all the time and you keep abandoning her. The work that we coach people on is there's no more abandonment. There's no more running away. There's no more, I'm so scared and I can't handle it. We connect you to your power and whatever comes, you have the power to alchemize all energies. It has been the most profound chapters of my life. And this is just the beginning. I always tell my clients like, this is just the beginning of rediscovering and reconnecting and remembering who we really are. It's so beautiful. And that doesn't mean that it's not painful. You know, I think that a lot of people think that spiritual awakening is just like, you wake up and that's it. It's like, no, there's work to be done. And I've spent all of my life in suffering, all of it. And I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't do it anymore. And I was always meant to go on a soul journey of exactly what I'm doing right now. And it's been really humbling to say the least. And right after I make this video, I'm about to go into a wound that um, a trigger that came up for me today of a time where I showed up in a lot of low self-worth um, when it came to a man and that got brought up and I realized I didn't process a lot of what I was feeling during that time. And the work that I have to do on me today is really processing all of that and what that brought up in me and alchemize it all. Um, it's been a really, really beautiful, beautiful journey. And I know that many of you who are on this ride, it is no joke. It is no fucking joke. And, um, but I want to remind you that the work that we're doing on ourselves is not only bringing us back to the powerful, magical, divine beings that we are, but it is also, you are helping humanity shift vibrationally. My teacher has a quote where she says, the only thing that matters is your vibrational frequency. And that's it. So we got to heal all of the frequencies that we let run, that we let take over, that we are attached to, that keep us small, that keep us weak, that keep us powerless, that keep us at the lowest of the lows. Because when one person awakens and does the work and chooses to step into new earth, where there is love and unity and kindness and humility and integrity and patience and surrender and unconditional love. You got to do the work to become all of that, which means you got to work on the parts of you that are not that. Okay. So I'm choosing every single day to do that because I don't want to show up in this world anymore, judgmental and harmful and mean and nasty and bitchy. And it was a lot of those things that I used to be. And I don't want to choose that reality anymore. I choose a reality where I am part of an earth that is full of love and oneness and remembering that there's no difference between me and an ant, me and a tree, me and the ocean. We're all one. We're all cut from the same divine cloth until the day that I transition to the next stage of wherever my soul is going to go. I want to be on my deathbed, my transitional bed and go, I did everything that I needed to do in this lifetime. I became, I became what I needed to become and I'm leaving this place a better place than when I came in. And I will do that for me and in turn the entire world. That's how powerful you are when you do the work on yourself. We always hear these things of be the change you wanna see in the world. This is what it means to be the change you wanna see in the world. Become what you want to see in the world for yourself, which means going into all the aspects that contribute to the debauchery and the fuckery of this planet right now. 
So to anyone out there, if this resonated with you, awesome. If you feel the call to work with me in a one-on-one -on -one setting or a group class, you can set up a free consultation below to learn about the programs that we offer at Master Self University. Um, I'm here to be a guide, to be a coach as you navigate this crazy thing we call life, this video game of a life. Let's learn how to play it. Um, and subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you gotta do. Um, and thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.